forgot. Oh my god. Hey everyone, Allie here. So real quick before we get to today's video, I want to tell you about our sponsor, HelloFresh. If you don't know what HelloFresh is, it is a meal kit company that sends you delicious ingredients to make all of these amazing meals throughout your week. Every week, a box like this will show up at your doorstep with either the meals that you've selected or the ones that they've pre-selected based on your preferences. They've even got recipes for vegetarians, pescatarians, and fit and wholesome meals to help you stick to your fitness goals or help you for whatever diet you may have. And guys, there's over 50 different meals to choose from every week, so I promise you'll probably find something that sounds good. Honestly, guys, when I say that I love HelloFresh, I really am not kidding. Back in April of this year, I took a Twitch uh, sponsorship with HelloFresh, and since then, I have not stopped my subscription, and I've made this binder of all of the different HelloFresh meals that uh, my family and I have loved, and I've even, you know, organized them by dish type, so, I'm not kidding when I say that I, I am passionate about HelloFresh. So if you do decide to try it out, I hope you like it as much as me. And if you use my link in the description of this video, it does help me out and help out the channel. So I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so this is a big disco lock. Discard a random undead, summon a copy of it. So if there's not a random, if there's not an undead to, I think we tap. Whenever you play or discard this, destroy a random enemy minion. I feel like I should probably give some context to Language Hacker why I was specking him for like 20 minutes. <laughs> He's probably like, why is it Allie not playing? Uh. Okay, so we don't currently know what type of Death Knight it is yet. Tap again, perhaps? Resurrect a friendly undead, give it reborn. My blood for the this is discard two. Draw two cards. If I'm playing this next turn, I might not want to tap. So many Am I playing that next turn though? If I discard my Astalor, I'm gonna be a bit upset. A random undead. I'm probably gonna play this, so I could tap. I think I'm gonna start running out of space here in my hand, so I think I'm gonna just go for this. It finally changed over. Oh, your drops. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna go here instead. See what we discard. Oof. Hopefully, no silence. That would be unfortunate. Control Shaman might be strong. I think the reason Allie doesn't play it too often is the hero power is mostly useless. Uh, no, that doesn't have anything to do with it. I honestly like Shaman. I just... I don't know if there's really been that amazing of Shaman decks recently. I think it's more just about, like, the deck, but Shaman's had some cool stuff over, over the years. Okay, so our 6-6 six, six died. A little sad. Resurrect a friendly undead, give it reborn. Wait, that's sick. So many possibilities. We're not done with you yet. Most intriguing. Let's go. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? I'm excited. I would really love, like, a control lock deck to be good that isn't the accurses. Yeah, I, I do agree. I feel like, kind of generally speaking, the uh, Shaman Hero power isn't super great, but unless you're playing Totem Shaman, of course. Aha! This is to all minions. I could take this trade, make trade here, and then just destroy the 5-5. Five five. Not sure how much I like that. Just go face for 10, play this, and then ha let this be reborn. I wonder. It's so easy to clear it, though. I could do this. No, I said rather do this. 
Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this play. But at the same time, it also kind of protects this thing. Like, they've got to deal 4 damage to it and then also get through the reborn as well. Like, I don't know if it was just right to just push 10, let another 6 get hit, and then have this be a 6-1 oh, and a 2-2. Yeah, two, two. It's so easy to clear that board, though. Anybody? Could have looked for a answer here. Okay. Could Bran Astalor? Doesn't seem like the worst. We have a big board clear. Kind of just want to drop this. Okay, so Blood's got a reasonable amount of heal, unfortunately. What do you guys think is the best rune for Death Knight so far? Draw another undead and summon a copy of it. So we're gonna burn if we do that. We could six and three frost. So many I think we're just gonna accept that we're gonna burn. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no! Uh, okay. What did we get? Patchwork got my school teacher. Not the not the end of the world. I'm a mobile viewer. Can I participate in the giveaway? You can. Um, in 15 minutes, I'm going to give you a keyword to type in the chat. So that's all you'll need to do is type the word in my chat, uh, the word that I give you, and you'll be good to go. Okay, so the question is, do we want to start laying these down? What's the other option here? I don't want to play anything that discards until I play both of these. Our gift of fire empowers us. Woo, Moobot coming in. Someone, hi, I want to offer a promotion for your channel. Someone just came in offering Viewbots. But Moobot was like, no. Nicely done. I'll never forget the first, like, in the first, th maybe, like, two months of me streaming. It was so early on. Someone came into my channel and was like, can I invite wedding guests to the party? And I was like, <laughs> I had no idea what this person meant. And I was like, sure, you can invite wedding guests to the party. And I probably had, like, 10 viewers or, like, I don't know, 10 or 20 viewers or something. And then my viewer count went up to like 400, 500 people. And that was the first day that I learned about viewbotting. And then I and then I understood. I was like, oh, this is what you meant about inviting wedding guests to the party. Um, yeah. Uh, shall we just go Astalore again? I think so. so Maybe he got everyone at his wedding to join. Maybe it's possible. And the question is, do we want to Finley afterward? No, I mean, I kind of want this. I know, is it Astalor or Finley? I, I feel like this is four damage to an, a random enemy. The Behemoth is also pretty reasonable. I, I, I made this, I can't remember what I put in the deck. I don't have my deck tracker. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Find out what's in the deck. Okay. I think it might be a mistake. Oh, resurrect a friendly. Un that actually would be good. Tamsin also good. Okay, I like the Finley. I think it worked out here. Sort of. Kind of want that nine mana card back though. The four eight. Okay, twelve. Can we find lethal? Gigafin would clear. Uh, this cannot go face. This could potentially find us lethal. This is destroy a minion. Give its stats to a random undead in your hand. I mean, we could do that. And then maybe try and find lethal with school teacher. What goes face for three or less? The other option is to play this thing and try to get the 6-6. Six, six. I kind of like that. Get the 6-6, six, six, let's go. Nice.
Got to win. Let's go. You're eating curry right now. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Yellow, Penang, sign me up. Yeah, this was the first time that I ordered red curry. And like within the first bite, something was off. I was like, that didn't taste right. And I actually stopped eating it. So I, I think I just got really unlucky because Bella and Mason both ate it as well and didn't puke their guts up for the entire night. I did not sleep. It was so bad. Anyway, but I still love curry even despite the food poisoning. Sorry if I'm making you lose any, or any of you lose your appetite. Um, for duty. From one bite. It's possible I just like ate a bad piece of meat or something. Like, I don't, I don't know. I still kept the Jaraxxus in there. There's no way Jaraxxus will be in a meta deck, you know? There, there's no way, but whatever. I guess we're having fun. We could take a look at some more cards. I have Finley. Like, it's not like I. it's the most greedy thing ever. I don't have Theo. I should probably have Theo in, actually, over Jaraxxus. That would be better. It could have been something you ate earlier, too. The fact that I... After I tasted it, I knew something was off. I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the, the curry. Uh, hello to Brazil! How's it going? Also not sure how I feel about Grimoire of Sacrifice in this deck without the 1-1's one generation, you know? Uh, Paladin is the other class that I have something made for. And I mean, I still... We had a yellow as well. So it is possible that there was just something wrong. But I have a pretty sensitive stomach, honestly, as things go. Particularly with meat. It's kind of part of the reason why I was vegetarian for like two years of my life. <clears throat> Bop this. His reign ends now. This is just an aura effect, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna let that live. Yeah, I don't know if this makes sense. What about Doomsayer? I'm a big fan of Doomsayer. <laughs> H-Dog, my performance in the reveal stream was breathtaking. It brought you to tears. Yeah, probably, okay, hopefully laughing uh, tears. I know you're joking there. I know my acting wasn't that good, so don't, don't play with me. Wow, that seems like such a good card. Twisted Tether, like there's no downside. I could coin Tamsin, but... Now. My sister is vegan. She doesn't do cow's milk, only coconut's milk. Uh, oat milk is my milk of choice. I like coconut milk, but not as a replacement for milk. Like, it's good on its own, but it's too watery to be like a coffee creamer or... It's a good in cereal, though. Yeah, oat milk is, is supreme. Haven't had an undead die yet, right? Like I could ask the lore and then just kill it. I think we just play this. And go for a uh, minion so they can't play uh, Leviathan. If they're even playing Leviathan. I've never had oat milk. What does it taste like? Oats. <laughs> Tastes like oats. If you don't like oats, you probably won't like oat milk. But I wouldn't say it's, it's, it's like a pretty bland like, as milk should be, you know? I don't really feel like milk should be, like, that dominant of a flavor, you know? You just kind of want the consistency and for it to be, you know? Soy milk? I, like, I can enjoy soy milk from time to time. It's not my favorite, but I'll deal. Okay, our hand is quite large. I'd be li I'd like to coin this. That, that sounds cool. I don't like this card in this deck. I don't think. We need to swap this. I wish Defile was an option, but it's not. Let's go here. Play Tamsin. Our hand's a bit full for Tamsin right now. Hold on. Shuffle Rifts in. They draw three threes. Put some three twos on the board. I was just gonna bump and then use this to get this out of my hand. Maybe the rifts is just better than this. Our 
hardships only strengthen our resilience. Viper is another card. I don't really know how popular weapons are right now, though. It's been really hard to want to play Savage. Because I've had Astalor in my hand every time. Not oh, thank god I can turn off the six streams. Willow's here. Hi, Willow. You want to hang out with me? Yeah. All are equal under the okay. Light. Okay, well, we did play around the Leviathan with the Okani that turn. We have a kitty. Has come join the stream. Hello. Hi. I know. I missed you too, Willow. Question is, is can we beat... Uh... The immovable object. Could trade in Tamsin now. Not impressed. What you did to me. Time nope. to return the favor. Yeah, I've got my cat at my side now. Anything is possible. Oh, why are you shaking? So, if Astalor does 16, it's just gonna do 8 with the carryall weapon out. Or, actually, how does that- or, no, or does it not work like that because it's just doing one point of damage each? So will it just do 16? Because it's gonna go ping ping ping, like it's not going all at once, right? It's going individually, so it should still do 16. Hello, Amethyst. Like, Denathrius is all at once. Yes, this is standard, but I'm on a special account today for the theory crafting stream. Okay, Kazakusan might might be difficult, depending on if they get good treasures. Ty is not in the tree anymore. Oh. And there she goes. Okay. No, this is not my main account. If this could bring back the 4-8, that would be cool. This thing that died. We could use this here. We could also shoot this, do this, and then do Astalor. But then I'm not giving myself the, a Bran option. And then if this dies, this is going into the pool. But I think this was already in the pool, right? Maybe not. Yeah, it was, I think. Uh, Willow, what? We're out of her food, so she's displeased. Okay, so far there haven't been like absolutely insane cards, so maybe we can get lucky with the treasures here. Seven boom bots. We have 42 life. I have listened to the Midnight's album, yes. Uh, so if I let these live and then there's the, you know, legendaries thing, maybe that's bad. But I don't know how I feel about playing Entitled Customer on this what board. I would like to play this and try to get this resummoned. But the question is, do I trade first? Yes. I mean, they're going to die. I'm only going to be able to get one off, basically. Could also just Astalor. Maybe we do that. Takes away the option, hopefully, for a... Uh... Canopic Jars? Is that what it's called? But now with the resurrect, I might I might get the two five instead of this. But I still think this was probably okay that turn. Why isn't the bot letting me see how long I followed Ali for? I think the follow bot stopped working. But is there not just something native like to to Twitch that shows you how long you followed before? Ooh, that's scary. Ooh, that's super scary. Twenty four damage. 
Okay. This could pop out. This has got reborn too. So if that dies, we could pop out the 6-6 six, six that gives us life still and other things. What'd you steal? Pick me, pick me. You followed since 2016. Wow. I thought to myself like three years only, then I realized it's been six. Wow, that is a long time. So we have to remember that there's another one of those fireballs. Eight damage three times. I'm trying to think if we have any other way to heal back up. I could put the spiced bread baker in this if we're worried about health. The 7-7 seven, seven has felt very awkward. Oh no, does this mean that we don't summon? If we can't draw? Oh no, it still does summon. Sick. Sick. Okay. Cool shit. Kind of just want to play this and maybe even drain soul this thing just for extra life. Recompense. For all I do, I do my it's only going to do three. But we're at 33 now. So we're gonna have to get through boom bots again. Probably right now. Thanks for making my day better. Oh, thanks for saying that. Wait for reload. Thanks for saying that kind message. Pyro equality. Sure. Ugh. Okay, hopefully no summon a copy. Not sure if I've seen all Kazakistan cards yet. I could play this and then Finley. Or I could play Finley and find Jaraxxus. I might want this. I think there's another one in the list though. February of 2017, confidence haver. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Wow. You guys have followed me for quite some time. Very, very appreciative. Thank you so much. I'm almost all right. No! Stop stealing my stuff! Oh, how did they get that? Did they... I could just gigafin. Did this, this pulled this, so I could trade here and get a 7-7? Seven, seven? Or I could just keep this intact. Brand. All right, so we have boom bots and we've got the eight damage to everything. Kitty is upset. Mistakes of the past. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. That's problematic. Seven. I guess that's technically enough. If I throw the seven in. Um, oh, it says among all enemies. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. So it wouldn't really be. I mean, I have a taunt. Maybe they can't get through the taunt? I don't- I think they can. Wait, that's kind of cool though. Six damage among all enemies, like, individually. So that would be six damage to the face if we clear this through the carryall. Yeah, so if I was able to rush this in for 7 and then have the 6 damage guaranteed on this, it would have been 13. And if we discard this, it automatically casts, which is really cool, but it will also go face. So, and then we only had 10 mana, so we couldn't clean up with this. Hopefully, there's no way to clear the taunt. I mean, we've seen there's only cards left are boom bots, the, the fireballs, the 8 mana, 8, eight damage. Oh, 
Oh boy. So I'm I'm dead. I'm dead to the fireballs. That'd be 24, 25, 6, 7, 7, 8, 29. I'm dead to the fireballs. I don't think there's any way for me to avoid this. Because if I do this, it all goes face. I could tap. Oh, that is something, maybe. Really? I think I just go face. Perhaps. Oh! Oh! I forgot! Oh my god! I think I'm- I think I'm fine then! Maybe! Hopium? This is 12 damage too, if there's nothing on the board. At least two health will be on the board from the Wax Rangers though. Am I board filled because of the new legendary dragon? Um, I forget its name, but it makes everything go... No! Yeah, it's fine. Um, it makes everything go dormant for a couple turns, and then they come back. Oh my god. This is crazy. That was a wild game, dude. Absolutely bonkers. That was such a fun one. Honestly, I feel like the dragon almost helped me.